It's going to take a few minutes because it takes him a while to get it. <laughs> that room's still, door is still fast. <laughs> it's going to take a while because he has a bad hip and so mobility is not.
Oh, you fell the set on the stairs. Oh, I didn't break anything. Yeah, it's not So it won't be long, it will be fixed. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you say something about Rolf? What do you think about Dad? Huh? What do you think? Yeah, you like him? Yeah, it's approval. <laughs> um, right. Now, wait a bit. She's quite funny. <laughs> she, she says the word daddy. It means daddy, but it also means I like it. I haven't said I like it. Okay. Well, generally, you start by saying, Where did you meet? A conversation, and I'm telling you where we first met. We were both at a concert. Oh. Well, think, will you correct me as you normally do, darling? <laughs> what was the concert? <laughs> it was a Cage concert. Right. John Cage in Bonn at the museum. And John Cage was droning on and the music was going and it was all very exciting. And then at some point it went on for such a long time that people went down, people went down to the um, temple. 
and there was conversation about the concept. And I started stacking glasses into a brick big wall because I couldn't understand German at the time. E empty beer bottles. Em empty beer bottles. <laughs> and uh, the person I was with, who was my host, said, don't do that, it's embarrassing. <coughs> And Rolf piped up and said, leave her, it, she's, she's making something beautiful. And I thought, ah. <laughs> Next day, I had been interviewing Stockhausen, and I was staying in the house um, where a lot of his associates and colleagues lived and made music in a barn. And there was a room full of his scores, and I was trying to understand the scores. A lot of them were just squiggles and lines and, and figurative. And I couldn't understand them, I couldn't follow them, and the music was going. And Rolf popped his head in and said, um, are you all right? And I said, I don't understand these scores. Ah, oh, he said, I can help you. So he sat down and he explained the scores to me. Half an hour later, he disappeared to make a chili con carne. It was supposed to be his great speciality. And he couldn't, uh, he couldn't turn the, the, the pancake upside down. He had tried to make a... What was it you were trying to make? I was trying to make tortillas out of, oh. out of corn kernels. Because you couldn't corn get flour. corn flour. So I said, I can do that. And I turned this thing upside down, and he couldn't believe it. And that has been my greatest achievement in life. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, <laughs> the conundrum is <laughs> that we each had a problem that the other was able to serve. So, Wonderful. And we've been carrying on ever since, finding new and new problems. I'm going to ask Claire, would you like to follow me? Yes, as long as I'm before Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I have, I, I knew Naritza before I knew Rob, because Naritza has a crazy friend, Melanie, and so through that I met uh, Naritza, Armenia, and then I met Rolf. But I don't know Rolf really at all through his <laughs> music or through film or his inventions. I know Rolf through his saturated, saturated connection to colour. Um, I, <laughs> I had to, I, I wanted to change the, uh, the stairway in, in my, the, the hall. And Naritza said, oh, well, Rolf will help you with the colours. So I said, well, I'd like, you know, a nice, you know, blue, pale sort of blue, and I'd like the stairs to be sort of, you know, a walnut-y colour, etc. And so Rolf said, I'll do it. And, of course, I went away. And I came back a week later, and I walked into what I thought was the Casbah. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> the saturated blue I had on my walls and, the, and this... Bizarre, bizarre <laughs> brown, which was verging on sort of, you know, um, tit-coloured uh, pink. It was quite a sort of a trip. Anyway, um, the my friend Cheryl, when she when she moved into her beautiful apartment, where we, you know, had many many parties, like you know, Rolf and Ritz, it's a beautiful space. It was a beautiful space, but it was dead boring. It was magnolia, you know, the dreaded magnolia. And so um, uh, I said to, uh, to Shares, well, I think you should get Rolf around. So I think I will now pass on to uh, Cheryl, because the transformation, when I went back like a month later into this room, it was as if I walked into the cave. Anyway, let, me, let, uh, let Cheryl, who is a world expert, she is, um, Cheryl is a world expert on colour. She, she it restores manuscripts and Qurans and all the great medieval stuff worldwide. So there's nothing she doesn't know about colour. But then Rolf walked into her life. <laughs> well, I'm not really such an expert, as Claire says. But anyway, and Rolf came and um, remodelled the whole apartment, really. And, and uh, in the sitting room, I had a lot of wooden, beautiful wooden furniture, which was kind of Huge really boring. Yeah. On, uh, on the magnolia, and we decided to paint it this extraordinary green colour. I don't know how to describe the green wolf, do you? And then we thought, uh, anyway, it took ages to, 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 to paint it, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And we thought we'd make it even better by sponging gold onto it, all over it. And so it spent, we spent it was hours and hours and hours of sponging the gold. And when it was finished, we realised that we could. 
couldn't see the gold at all, except about six o'clock on a summer's evening, the sun in a certain direction <laughs> would catch it that way. But otherwise, all that hours and hours of work. Um, but it looks terrific, and, and you do most of my face, and it still looks fabulous, Rob. So mm -hmm. thanks for that. It's really so. I want to know. I want to know what the neighbors think about the color of this house now. I was, <laughs> I'm, I'm responsible for that. I'll go through for that. <laughs> 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 It was time to paint the house. <laughs> <laughs> so mother and father said, let's paint the house. And they were going through all the different faded pinks you could get in masonry paint. This faded pink, that faded pink, because the house was faded pink. And um, they hired scaffolding, the scaffolding was up, and they were counting the pennies to get the best deal for the scaffolding for. And they were looking at the painting, and I was like, why are we painting it pink? They made it blue. <laughs> and then mum said, oh, your father won't like that. So I ran off and asked dad, hey dad, what about this blue? Said, oh, your mother won't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, she got me to ask you. He's like, well, I'm not against it. It's like, I don't know. It's like, great, blue it is. And then we can that, that wonderful late night off-license beer, beer bag blue. But <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the neighbours? <laughs> so the neighbours all complain. They all complained, and then there was they, they said we don't like this blue house, and and you know they should paint it back the way it was. And I think even a letter came from the council. Yeah. And Mum said this house was built in 1898. So if you can find me a colour photo of the house from 1898, I will paint it that colour. <laughs> of course, colour photography exists back then. So. Jack. Yes. Is Jack here? Yes, I see him. Is Jack here? Yeah. You didn't hear. You didn't hear. No, no, no. Don't help. No, no. Good evening, Ralph. Perhaps you think you are still sleeping. <laughs> uh, my name is Karl Heinz Stockhausen. <laughs> How about a little? <laughs> yeah. um, Rolf, I want you to know to me you are always like Jose Mourinho. <laughs> you were the special one. You were my special one. You were the leader of the ensemble. And very, very important. And in my work, river. <laughs> Beration was very important. <coughs> and serious. <laughs> serious. Serious is where I was born. <laughs> <laughs> and cock! Cacophony was what I liked <laughs> in the music, my dear Earth. So, my tribute to you, thank you very much, all of you, for paying attention to He still thinks he's dreaming. <laughs> and by the way, you know the glass stuff that you did with the, with the concert, with mm, the cage? Mm. You probably improved it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take up too much time, but please would you all now join me in singing the most important song that we can sing to all. My version of Happy Birthday. Join in. <laughs> 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 together in the mid-1980s, just as he was developing his sound space uh, uh, interaction. And I was working with uh, an ambisonic sound projection 
uh, which uh, uh, within a, a sound space in a similar fashion to, to, to Rolf, uh, uh, allowed uh, it was a mechanism which, which allowed sounds to be distributed around the space and back and forth and, and, and through it in a very, a very complex fashion. And uh, Rolf, Rolf uh, decided that his, his sound space de uh, device was actually an extremely complex theremin, and he brought them all together <laughs> into, into one space where, with his hands, he could play against these devices uh, uh, interactively and control more than one at the same time with a single hand, and uh, all hell break broke loose. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, uh, my purpose was to take the hell that was breaking loose and distributing it in a hellish <laughs> way around the hall. And it worked so well that, that, uh, uh, that Rolf organized a short tour for us uh, in the, uh, the, uh, uh, around, uh, around Germany, a few places. And uh, it was notable for the fact that uh, we were we were housed in, in spare bedrooms and you know, uh, places, people that had organized it along the way. Uh, and uh, uh, we, we shared, and we discovered that we were both absolute champion snorers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, uh, it, it became an, an unorganized, unofficial, uh, uh, contest between us, and the sounds that went on in the night were even more wild and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and surrealistic than those which went on you know, in, the, in the concert hall during the day. <laughs> and finally we ended up in one amazing place which was, it was decorated by the owners like, like a uh, uh, like a, a, a Japanese domestic uh, uh, little house, the interior. It, it, it looks as if it might have been designed by Gary Snyder. It was really, really, really outstanding. But uh, we were in a very small sleeping area on, on very uh, uh, minimal uh, uh, Japanese pallets on the floor, just a few feet away from each other. And I vowed to myself, tonight there is going to be a winner. <laughs> <laughs> and when we came down in the morning, I swear that there were dark circles under all five. <laughs> in the words, modified words of John Cage, I have nothing to snore and I'm snoring it. <laughs> <laughs> Else? I'd like to add a footnote, just a footnote. You used to have a harpsichord. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was. And I remember, it's such a pity, because I remember coming in one evening and I said, Can you play the harpsichord? And you said, Well, I'm a composer, I can't play. <laughs> <laughs> and you sat down and played so beautifully that I can still remember it, but I can't walk into this room without. Thinking about it. Ah, yes. Well, I gave it to someone who was a, a better uh, harpsichord player than I, and they needed it. Well, I didn't really need it. But it was given to me by Roger Woodward. Oh, uh, yes. So I had to make sure I could find a home for it that was sufficiently appropriate. Yes, it was a great space. This is a great space for chamber music. We didn't have quite so much furniture in it at the time. <laughs> it was here. Yes, that's right. Now we're going to have a little intervention. Oh, wow. So, so it's uh, Diana, would you like, uh, would that table do, or is the table? Uh, maybe my turn, I would like to speak something. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, Roth, Roth, where do you want the table? No, no, yeah, I don't mind. I mean, I'll just put it anywhere, you know. Okay. I mean. Would you like this one? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Is it in a good place? Yeah, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no. People thing here. I thought you were going to take me out and take me to a concert or something. I mean, I said, just make it simple, Louis. I mean, go over the top a little bit. I mean, hi, everybody. Oh. Uh, I kind of got a bit stuck earlier, but uh, I'm okay now. I mean, I put that stair carpet on there, you know, and chip it up on my own shit here. I don't know why, but uh, something went very wrong, and uh, well, I, I survived, because, you know, I can survive anything, except I've got the wrong glasses on, so uh, <laughs> maybe someone could spit this thing on for me. I invented it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> now Richard said to me, well, you gotta, you got to earn some more money, because, you know, <laughs> I'm, like, pulling this wagon and... Uh, this year it's going to be your year, and I sort of agree with her because I've got some really amazing <coughs> stuff here, and uh, I, I, I'm going to ask a couple of people if they'd just help me out a little bit, but don't make any noise with it right now. I don't know why people think that I tend to be bossy because I never thought I was bossy. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've just got a very strong personality. Here, you hold this, will you? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no, it's a, make yourself useful, that's it. <laughs> okay, somebody else, somebody musical. Here, you there, no, yeah, what are you doing? Scratching your face? I'm absolutely not Yeah, musical. well, just straight that back. Me yeah. in a minute, not, not this back. Now, uh, I want somebody with beautiful hair here, because I need somebody, uh, you, you, you're beautiful, come here. <laughs> you just come here. Now, I don't, I said to Richard, I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to invent something. But I wanted to invent something that I could use on her as well. Because I've always, I've always had this sort of sneaking feeling that she had an affair with Mick Jagger. Because <laughs> <laughs> she was beautiful. She still is. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. He always had his eye on her because she can dance and he can. Anyway. <laughs> This is my latest invention. We're going to do some music to it later. And it's a, just chuck that on, really. That's my present, Christmas present. I forgot to give it to you. <laughs> this is a, this isn't just an ordinary hair grip, right? This hair grip reads minds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I reckon. I reckon I can get some sense out of this. Right. <laughs> Just think away, honey. Just think away. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's not true. Think again. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> you think again. She's saying that I'm the freakiest guy she ever met. <laughs> you want to have another go? <laughs> you married the wrong girl. <laughs> Sit down. I'm going to put this on the witcher. OK. Because <laughs> I invented this for her. OK. And this won't lie to me, Louisa. I'm, I, I'm not going. I'm not going to let you do this, Rolf. <laughs> it's, you, you've been trying to read my mind for half a century. <laughs> I'm not doing this one. What do you mean he made me do it? <laughs> he squeezed your hand, and you just fell into his arms, and he said. Under my thumb is a girl who once had me that lady no longer is under her thumb. You're talking about Mick or Wolf? I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> Okay, well, well, I can't get the truth out of her, but 
You can play that, can you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I need three people to make sound effects. Whip it up. And you whip that up. And whoever captures this can whip this up. Yeah, great. Okay. We are going to sing a better version. We're going to sing... Woher? Woher? Ist? 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 Meine? Meine? Dingsbum! Dingsbum! Okay? <laughs> Start whipping up the, to, the, to the music of... <laughs> Woher ist mein Dingsbum? <laughs> First person to get it right. What do I mean by a ding spoon? Fuck. Tree. Something to do with tree. Wrong. Thing about Jay. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> Thank you. I, like I said, I'm a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Rolf and I did a radio show together on Resonance FM, so we could get we could sort of excuse ourselves <laughs> from anything. <laughs> And especially wrong. Um, I know everybody, I think everybody knows what I'm going to say. So I'm not going to say anything new. I'm a member of Para Orchestra, uh, one of the members, one of the founding members. And um, when I went first time, I was playing sitar and biruba, different instruments. And uh, Rolf comes and talks to me about, of course, uh, everybody knows Ravi Shankar. And he talks to me about different other musicians. And I was very surprised that he knows so many Indian musicians. How does he know all about it? And then um, somebody, I don't know who, because um, as you can see, I can't see. <laughs> So, somebody told me that he has designed an instrument for somebody called Clarence, who couldn't move his body at all, only neck. And uh, then I was very curious, how can he play such beautiful music, Your keyboards, I could hear kind of saxophone sounds, and different sounds I could hear. And Everybody was saying, it's Clarence who is playing. I said, how can he play? So then <coughs> I spoke to Rolf and he told me that he has designed an instrument so he can just move the neck mm -hmm. like this yeah. and he can play. Yeah. And that was the wonderful job he has done. And I asked him, can he make an instrument I, I can see? <laughs> let's see if he can do. <laughs> so let's see, yeah? That's, that's what, that's what I, I would like to say about Rolf. He's, he's a, not only a scientist, he's a great university himself. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Do you want to say anything? Yes. Yes, well, uh, everything you said is, is of course, true. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, even exponentiating. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you all for coming uh, and, and doing the, and, and being here and and for my for Naritza and the boys for uh, organizing and, and Lauren, I'm sure, organizing this completely without my knowledge. Um, All permission. Never ask permission at the I'm absolutely delighted that you've come, and I'm only really sorry that I managed to hurt my hip yesterday. Uh, or otherwise I'd be hopping around a bit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>